a Dada Doodle Doo, and we're back with another video from Dot Daily where we talk about everything in the Polkadot ecosystem. Today we will touch on Akala, so let's get into it. Akala is one of the most anticipated Polkadot DeFi projects by Miles. That has plenty to do with Akala billing itself as the DeFi hub of Polkadot. Akala Network is a decentralized finance platform built for the Polkadot network. It is built to host an array of financial applications that make use of smart contract technology, cross-chain functionality, and high security protocols. Akala is also Ethereum compatible, meaning its applications can maintain interoperability between Polkadot and Ethereum. Like many of the independent blockchains built on the Polkadot-specific substrate blockchain development framework, Akala Network functions as a parachain on the Polkadot relay chain. Akala Network offers a variety of financial products, including a multi-collateralized stablecoin, or AUSD, a trustless stocking derivative, or LDOT, an automated market maker, or AMM, decentralized exchange, or DEX. All three of these employ micro gas fees that can be paid using different crypto assets. Akala offers users access to these services via Akala Network. Akala Network has built its own Ethereum-compatible virtual machine, the Akala EVM, to assist developers in building their decentralized applications written in the Ethereum-specific smart contract coding language solidity, and to mint assets that operate similarly to ERC-20 tokens. This asset minting functionality is a key aspect of Akala's interoperability framework, and Akala's mintable assets including cross-chain assets like DOT, RenBTC, and Akala's native tokens ACA and AUSD. Transactions like that take place within the Akala EVM are converted into substrate transactions that can be signed via Polkadot extensions, which are then converted into an Ethereum-readable format. History of Akala Akala was co-founded by Bet Chen, Rui Tao Su, Brian Chen, and an anonymous pseudonymous individual named Ox Three Body. Betty Chen went to University of Auckland where she gained a BA in engineering before studying for an MBA at University of Otago and Duke University. She has worked in a diverse range of projects, from software engineer for First Data Corporation in New Zealand to project manager at SAP in China. She worked extensively as a product manager for a range of companies before co-founding Flowingo, a social enterprise startup. She subsequently co-founded Laminar, a finance platform based in Auckland. The CEO of Akala, Rui Tasu, has a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the University of Auckland. He subsequently founded Less Code Limited, a software development studio as well as Laminar alongside Bet. He's also the CEO of Laminar. Brian Chen, based in Auckland, is also a University of Auckland graduate. Having a degree in engineering, he went on to be a software developer and software engineer at a variety of companies including Kami Incorporated and Mokshan. He worked as CTO at Laminar as well as product architect at Centrality. Goals of Akala Network The Akala Network is built to fulfill several goals where other crypto networks lack. The first of these is creating a sound, stable, decentralized digital currency, or AUSD, built for borderless value transfer inside the Polkadot network. Besides this, the Akala network intends to accommodate a highly secure and interoperable stablecoin network. The stablecoin functionality is intended to serve the wider goal of providing Polkadot with a building block for open financial services and an intrinsic DeFi ecosystem that can connect to Ethereum's own established DeFi ecosystem, and beyond, via cross-chain asset collateralization. Besides the aforementioned goals, Akala Network is built to maintain robust security by harnessing Polkadot's shared security mechanism. This architecture is paired with a commitment to foster decentralization and censorship resistance via the ecosystem's framework and token release model. Lastly, Akala is focused on equitable governance and enhanced upgradability, leveraging governance via its Akala token, or ACA, which employs forkless, non-disruptive upgrades. Akala's token ACA is the native token for the Akala network and has several uses and governance mechanisms within the Akala ecosystem. ACA can be used to pay network transaction fees, stability fees as interest on AUSD loans when using Honzen, and penalty fees during liquidation. These various platform fees can also be paid by the user in AUSD, which is subsequently exchanged to ACA under the hood via the protocol's built-in exchange feature. After ACA is received as payment for platform fees, it is burned and permanently removed from the token supply, making the asset deflationary. ACA is also burned during liquidation on the platform. ACA is also slated to take on an increasingly important role in platform governance as Akala plans to implement a gradual, multi-phase decentralization approach that will shift from on-chain decentralized councils via the Akala Foundation to a more decentralized form of referendum-based governance via ACA token holders. ACA is used for proposing network amendments, potential risk parameter adjustments, and even as a contingency solution in the result of a sudden price collapse of assets in under-collateralized collateralized debt positions, or CDPs. If such a collapse were to occur, ACA assets would be automatically diluted and sold onto the market to help achieve network recapitalization. The Akala token, or ACA, is an essential utility and governance token within the Akala network. Its three primary uses are Governance 
ACA tokens are used to participate in governance matters such as proposing network changes, voting on referenda, and fee administration. Transaction fees. Both the Hanzo and Hama protocols generate fees from CDP repayments, liquidations, and LDOT transactions. Well guys, that brings us to the end of our video. I hope this video gave you more of an understanding on Akala. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, a